we're going to start with regular squats because I want to show you how the difference between your squat and your deadlift and how they lead into certain exercises. So your squat is feet hip width apart, chest up, shoulders back and down. The bell's just hanging. You're controlling the bell with your core. You're going to sit back and down and squeeze up. And sit on your heels and stand strong and tall with your core. Abs in, belly in, knees. Don't go over your toes. Weights on your heels. Standing up strong and tall, keeping your chest up the whole time. Squat and come down. Squat and up. Squat. Squat and forward. As you can see, I'm standing up with my core, squeezing my from my butt, my legs, sucking my belly in tight to come to center. Stand strong and tall. Back is flat the whole time. Good, you can just do a bunch of squats. 10, 20, whatever feels comfortable for you. So from our squat, we go into our two-handed high pull. So feet are still hip width apart, you squat down and pull the bell up high. Pull, fin bell finishes at your chest, elbows up high by your ears. Belly sucked in tight. Sit back and down and explode right up. So it's down and up. You're using your squat to help you explode up into your high pull. Belly sucked in tight, pulling the belly to your chest, standing strong and tall, pull and pull, pull, pull. Good, I'll show you from the side. So from your squat, squat, explode up, explode up, pull up. When you drop the bell, remember, keep your chest up strong. You don't want to let the bell bring you down. Going to our deadlift. So the deadlift, different than the squat because you're leading with your hips, which is so much of kettlebells, so it's a lot. This is something really important to get down. Isolating those hips, stretching them out, increasing your flexibility there. So your feet are a little less than hip width apart. Weights on your heels still. Strong stance, always belly sucked in. You're gonna hit soft bend in your knees, soft bend in your knees. You're gonna hinge back with your hips. Back, 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 back. Chest stays up, back is flat, belly sucked in tight. And then hinge forward. Back, 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 belly sucked in. Really, this is an amazing exercise for using your mind and body. You really wanna be thinking, hinge back at your hips, butt back behind you, butt back. That's where all your movement's happening. And from here, you're gonna squeeze from the back of your body to come to center, suck in your belly, stand strong and tall. A couple more. Back, back, and hinge up. And back, and hinge up. Good, every time you gotta be focused that you're not dropping from your chest, instead you're just hinging back with your hips, stand strong and tall. And squeeze up, good. Belly sucked in to protect your spine. Come on up. Good, so that's your deadlift. And your deadlift leads into the swing, which is the most basic kettlebell move. So the deadlift is the static motion of the swing. So the swing is the dynamic movement of the deadlift. So it's still all in your hips. You're gonna swing the bell through your legs and then hinge forward. Hips come back, hips is what leads back and hinge up. Loosen up in your hips, hips come back and hinge up. Hinge up and forward, push and up. So see how I'm letting my hips go back behind me and then I'm swinging them forward like a pendulum. Your body's like a pendulum in your core. So to come to center, you're contracting the muscles in the back of your body, your legs, your butt, hamstrings, and your quads too. You want to contract everything in your legs and then to pull up from center, suck in your belly button, pull up with your abs. You're not using your arms. It's everything in your core. And remember that 
you're lifting that bell with the force you're generating from your hips. So you come forward, lift. Chest stays up strong, back is always flat. And don't forget to breathe, always breathing. And staying connected with your body. Inch forward, telling yourself what to do. And relax. So this is your four basic kettlebell moves that you'll need to create a strong basis for using the bell in your workouts. See how I'm breathing heavy? It's because when you use the kettlebell, it's so dynamic that you're really hitting your heart rate. So it's awesome, total body all the time. Uh, so give this a try and I hope it helps. <laughs>